Welcome to the Daily Hockey Wrap, presented by Throw. I'm Dan Strange and I'm here to bring you all the goings on from day four of Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games Women's Hockey Event. Acquired today in the women's section once more with just two matches. Both on paper look comprehensive, but Garner would argue there was nothing comprehensive about Wales's victory. It took Wales until the third quarter to score their opening goal through the experience of Leah Wilkinson. In the fourth, they did start to pull away, scoring quick fire goals in the 51st and 52nd minute through Webb and Holm before Bingham closed it out for nothing. Wales won't mind how it came, the victory is all that's important. For Scotland, they found it rather easier against Kenya. On a beautiful morning at the University of Birmingham, Scotland found their flow, hitting 11 goals unanswered against the Kenyans. It took Scotland just three minutes to get started. Sarah Robertson found Fiona Burnett, who deflected delightfully home, igniting the Scots. Don't worry, of course, at home about anything igniting if you've got throw. Three minutes later and Scotland were at it again, this time from the penalty spot with Dundee's Charlotte Watson converting for 2-0. Scotland then stretched the game well and continued to dominate throughout the match. They went in at half-time, 7-0 to the good. And although Kenya defended well, they started to pick up cards, which made it very difficult as they chased the game. And Scotland closed it out, 11 goals to nothing, to pick up their second win of the Commonwealth Games 2022. The result leaves Scotland level on points with Australia and New Zealand in their group and with a chance still of making the semi-finals. On day five, there are some fantastic matchups to be had. Australia and New Zealand going toe-to-toe -to -toe in Pool B. Most recently, Australia have held sway in the form there. Ghana play Canada. England and India know each other very well and are two of the most evenly matched teams in the world. At the recent World Cup in Amstelveen, they drew one apiece in their pool, and I can't see it being much different. These are two very good teams, and they go up against each other really well. And finishing off the day, an all-African affair, as South Africa play Kenya, a match that South Africa would expect to win. Day 5 has some real heavyweight clashes. I hope you enjoy them, and I'll be back with more as we come towards the conclusion of the pool stages.